uh, very hard as a resource to Congress, uh, uh, and hopefully that'll happen. Uh, there are other things that we'll continue to do, liberalizing rules around some other bands of spectrum, looking at ways to remove barriers and red tape to infrastructure. Um, there's a full spectrum agenda that I think all the commissioners at the SEC are excited about, and I'm looking forward to working on it together. Uh, uh, another big area will be uh, USF reform, Universal Service Fund reform. This, I think, is another innovator's dilemma issue for the country. You know, in the 20th century, um, we had the best uh, telephone system in the world, right? Uh, we rolled out telephone service to everyone in the country. And uh, I sure remember as a kid going to other countries, and wherever I went, the telephone service in the U.S. was better. And it, um, it helped fuel our economy in the 20th century. It connected people. It connected small businesses, large businesses. And it was one of the reasons why we were the world leader in the 20th century. Like Spectrum, though, it's created our, our, our circuit-switched telephone system. It's created a set of dependencies and reliances that uh, are holding us back from doing what we need to do in the 21st century. Uh, the goal of universal service for communications is still very important, but the Universal Service Fund still focuses on telephone service. Obviously, it needs to focus on broadband. It has a set of policies that disincentivize moving to IP networks. It has a lot of uh, waste and efficiency. It needs to be targeted, efficient, to accomplish the rollout of uh, broadband infrastructure everywhere in the country. It's a program, as you know, that focuses on the areas of the country where the economics don't support uh, 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 privately, 100% uh, privately supported. But anyway, this is another area where I think there's broad agreement on it. 